Hello there and welcome back to Noble Fate. So we've got this beautiful sunrise right now and also some, well, one lonely imp attacking us. So yeah, let's let this play through real quick. Our colonists are already tasked to go and eliminate the threat. Let's see what happened. Oh, okay, it automatically paused the game. All right, let's just move over here. Quick little combat. And it seems someone's coming to help us out as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. Who's this? Mary. All right, thank you so much. All right, so whilst they're uh, fighting away, today's focus for the episode will be a bit of crafting and planning as we did decide in our last episode. Now, since we do have this imp here now, could we... Oh, we do have to... Wait a second. Assign to anyone... And what can we do? Quantity? No, let's say... Let's do infinite for now. Yeah, all sorts of hides. And it would be also lovely if they build the tannery here. Alright, so we'll let it run. Now, I think the roofs are... If we go up a little bit... Okay, they're almost done. I don't think we're missing any resources, but... uh, Yeah, they're... Okay, you're sleeping. What are you up to? Relaxing... Oh yeah, they're probably relaxing because I've just fixed up their uh, the schedule as well. So right now it seems, what is the time? 6 o'clock. So they should be resuming work any any second now. Right, so crafting. Let's do that first before we look at some blueprints. I have scheduled in another table in here. And the reason for that is I like to avoid going to the crafting table every time to craft some new things. So... I think we'll dedicate this table here for clothes. So perhaps, uh, let's see if anyone likes cloth food. No, not really. Okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, Baby Dragon seems to like some cloth leggings. So why don't we maintain... Uh, yeah, let's do one. That should be fine. What else can we do? We've got lower cloth skirt. Okay, Cap loves to wear a skirt. So we can also do that. And yeah, basically just adding a couple of different things in here, like tunic, same thing, maintain, and let's see what else can we do. Can we do a blouse? No, no one really likes that. Uh, that's already weapons, uh, no one really likes the gloves, but cloth shoes, that's a winner, so we'll, we'll take that. In the second table, however, we shall go straight to the weapons and cap dislikes it but the others don't mind so that's all right we'll do maybe a couple uh, let me just speed it up as well and the wooden hammer which michael seems to absolutely love so that's all good now beautiful so we'll leave it at that i think with the oh the imp yeah there you are no one really seemed to like imp meat but we can probably sell it away yeah, why don't we still butcher you? We can get some hides, maybe tan them as well, and um, yeah. All right, so that is that. Right now, our level is pretty low, so we can't really do too many things. Uh, butchering table, we already have, and we don't really have to set up jobs over there, which is great. Now, the stove isn't going to be too useful to us just yet, but we can do the foundry, I think. Okay, so why don't we try it over here? What do you need? Uh, nearby heat source. Uh, okay, maybe we shall move it right over here. Let's see what happens. It, it might work out or it might not. Uh, it should be fine. Now, I did notice Baby Dragon run around and milk those cows as well, but unfortunately, he's really bad at bringing the milk back. And to be honest, we can't really make any complex food items anyways or recipes, so... So that's okay, that milk can just, you know, be wherever it is. Now, with some of the clothes, we are probably going to need some cotton, so why don't we schedule a little bit of that too. Now, a few more visitors did come in, but no one's really staying in our rooms. And it seems their rent budget is only two. Now, what is interesting, they also have food budget, so... I guess we'll have to try and figure out how can we make some money out of them by giving them an option to buy food from us now what is rather odd here is master baby dragon wants one prestige wall light source i've already built two in here 
and yes they're definitely number one but for some reason it does not register I mean then again it is early access so a few bugs might pop up here and there unless it could be also my mistake if I've done something wrong but that room is definitely set to baby dragon and that torch is definitely inside this room so yeah I don't really know this wall is uh, very see-through, isn't it? Yeah. Or maybe something is wrong with this wall. Well, I don't know. Anyways, Baby Dragon can level up, so let's check this out real quick. What level are you now? Level 4, so foraging, crafting and ranching. Okay, beautiful. I think we have the key things down. Why are you not building this? Uh, seems like we are missing something. Oh, stone, of course. We need quite a bit of stone, so... Let us... Actually, do you know what? We're just gonna mine it all out. It should be fine, right? Okay. And we've got a couple of people that are coming to mine. Okay, so let's go to our plans for this colony and how we want to build this paradise. Now, two options. We could do the main entrance between those hills over here, which I think might be a better option. This one here is another one, and it's kind of cool how we have this little island here as well. And that's where we could maybe place a few farms down if we wanted to. Yeah, but this mountain here, we could do a few towers, lookout towers, I guess, bit of role play. Hmm, tough choices. Okay, I mean, we are going to build this way and we might reach this island anyways. And yeah, part of me just feels this is a little bit better. However, let's, uh, let's see how it works out with the placement. I think we could start... Oh, okay, so it goes straight through, so that's not a problem. The shoreline's a bit more straight over here. And if we go straight out here, that's going to be fine. And to be honest... This is going to be fine here as well. Now, what I am thinking, we could build some uh, kingdom walls that goes around, connects up to those mountains. Right, and then in the middle, we'll have this sort of big reception building area where we have the dining rooms and, and all that. Then we are going to have... Uh, let me just go back here, actually. Yeah, this way. Then we have a little walkway that goes out to the lake. And around this area, we, we shall build individual, like, little uh, villas. And I've just noticed there are some copper veins over here. Okay, interesting. Anyways, yeah, so that's, uh, that's something I'd like to, or the way I'd like to do it. Now, if we measure out the length, uh, 25. Oh, we can just eyeball it. I say this seems like it's in the middle. I believe so. Okay. Maybe one to the left, but that's okay. I want to do it three wide anyways, just to make sure there's enough space for them to walk on. But also, in case we get raided, someone shoots a few arrows this way, or maybe even with a catapult, because there are catapults in this game as well. And if they break this link, then, uh, well, that's not good. Yeah. So we'll... Um, Start planning it in there. What are you guys up to right now? So Michael seems to be... Okay, so you're learning a few recipes over there. Okay, so that's good. I think I'd prefer if these trees go. Yeah, I'm sure we'll uh, get some smaller ones in the future, but it would be nice to tidy this area up a little bit. Now Cap has leveled up, so let's uh, check this out real quick. Level 6 now with cooking, nursing, mining and logging have improved, so beautiful. What else did we get? Uh, okay, just cooking. Cow milking is available. Yes, I think that's been available for a little while now. Because I'm pretty sure I saw Baby Dragon milking a few cows. Okay, so coming back to this idea, I'm sure we shall move things around a few times. But what we could do is, I also need to keep in mind that I do want to keep some farms in this area. Maybe more towards the front. Yeah, that might be better. Maybe we just tame another cow as well. I just noticed one here. Food-wise, okay. Things seem to be pretty good. 
Right, I think part of the reception, let me do... Okay, so if it's three wide, that is not bad. Actually, I changed my mind. I don't want this water to be... Mm, yeah, going through the floors. So if I can, I will raise it up by one level. We'll select them all. Well, we tried at least. Yeah, let's uh, reset all this and we'll quickly check if we have the option to put some columns in. We do. Okay, let's do... No, that this, this one is a rounded one. Okay, let's go back to structures, columns. Let's do the wooden ones. And I think we were... Yeah, one, two, one, two. Is that kind of in the middle? A little bit to the right, I think. So maybe we do it like so. Yep, that should be fine. Unreachable, what do you mean unreachable? No, it's not. Well, sure. Okay. Now, flaws, what we can do is because they know... Mm, never mind. Let's do it the way we did it before. Wooden strip in the middle, and we could just cross over, which might not be a too bad idea. Yeah. Okay, trees, I can't quite see, but okay, there we go. So that's going to be the walkway. I don't suppose you can build all this. All right, some new visitors have come, and they have straight away booked our rooms. Wonderful. Thank you so much, guys. Not the cow tamed? Beautiful. Is it you? No, that is not you. All right. So you're crafting or learning. You are crafting now. Tanning heights. You are cutting trees and taming a cow. Okay. Well, cool. Right. Once we get these uh, trees out of this place, we should be able to see a little bit better. Now, what we could also do with our reception area, if we want to have bigger farms and be a bit more space efficient, we could raise the housing up by a little bit. So maybe this, yeah, I think we can still, let's give it a try. Farm and, oh yeah, we can put one underneath. I know it's a little bit silly, but it does seem to work. So we could hide away a few of those farms. Right, so the main building itself, uh, if this is going to be a farm, so maybe a reception could be... Yeah, this seems like a pretty good area to start, or at least put down the foundation for for our construction. Okay, so if we try, let's see. Oh, you guys are building already, okay. Well, that's great. Now, walkway, this could be open, beautiful. Or the other way around. Ooh, there's so many options. Okay, do you know what? Let's start building on this side. If we change our mind, which... I wouldn't be too surprised if it happened. Then we can always, you know, move things around. It's, uh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so... Oh, it's so difficult to see. Can you just not take all of them down? Would be way better. Yep, all of these ones. Off you go. Alright, what else did we learn? Okay, learned cloth skirts. Okay, good. Do you know what? What I'm gonna do is, after we level up Michael... Let's have a look. Level 5, we get to choose an ability as well. Michael, what were you good at? Uh, jobs, crafting. Okay. Uh, building. Active. No. Passive building. Pretty sure he was good at building as well. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is, I feel it's going to take me a little, little while to figure out the exact layout. So give me a few minutes. I'll figure this out. We'll put a blueprint down and then, then we'll be back. All right, there we go. Very simple. We're just gonna have two rooms in here. Most likely give one to Baby Dragon and the second one could be perhaps Michael or Cap actually. Yeah, maybe we'll do Cap because Cap is our builder. Michael should be uh, smithing and things. I guess everything is done. Ooh, that's a lovely plus one crafting. Okay, who was the rafter again that was michael okay so if we give this one to michael i believe yeah let's give it to him there we go that should increase his crafting which means uh, we didn't really get anything else okay well that's okay anyways yeah big nice open space in here 
I have replaced most of the floors and walls with the wooden ones. They might as well learn it now and start building with the materials that we are going to be using later on. And for some reason, this is not working out here at all. So, yeah, I guess we're going to have to move you. Oh, you've already built this one. Well, awkward, but that's okay. Are we going to be able to build those pillars in the water, though? Now, that is... Oh. Not really. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a shame. I was really hoping that we can create those support pillars in the water. But to be honest, with the key mechanics and how they are right now, so I don't think it matters too much. And wait a second. Have you used up all the logs already? Only 126 left. Wow. They really have burned through most of them already. But that's all right. We've got plenty of trees around and a couple of logs here as well. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll chop these up as well real quick. Okay, so the walls are in place, which is good. As soon as we get the floors in as well. Actually, it doesn't matter. We can wait a little bit. We uh, are able to do slightly nicer beds here already, I think. Yeah, so why don't we... If they're going to have balconies facing the lake... Yeah, oh, bit of a lag. Okay, there we go. Yeah, facing the lake. So maybe we place these beds... I don't know. I think somewhere here would be acceptable. Yeah, that should be fine. And... Oh, you're doing floors. Okay, that that's all right. Now, we'll go down a level. Okay, so beds are in place, which means we can give them those rooms already. But, mm, do you know what? Let's put some lighting here as well. Maybe we'll uh, start with the simple wall torches here. And Baby Dragon can level up again, so let's have a look. Level 6 now, melee building, ranching, and hauling. Pretty good, not too bad. No, oh, okay. We are getting our first raid, it seems. Now, the difficult part is now, because there's so many trees around and it's nighttime, it's very tough to see where they might be at. Michael, what are you doing? Still building. I believe it's time for you to get some food. Okay, here we go. And that is him, I believe. Yep. Oh, wrong one. Attack. All right, here we go. Oh, it's an elf. Okay. And let's take a look. What are your charms like? Hmm. Okay, okay. And where is Baby Dragon? Here you are. Let's go. Let's go and help out Cap. Whoa. Okay, okay. Let's try again. Oh, he's pretty tough. Alright, I think that was enough. He is now down. And since he's good at crafting, doesn't really like the rest. However, building... Mm, also, we could, of course, use him for hauling. So, Cap, what are you doing? You're dancing. Well, how about you uh, fix him up real quick? Are you still dying? Heals in seven hours. Well, great. I think we have our first minion now. And which one of you rooms is not being used? Uh, none of you. Great. We're going to turn you into a cell. And Cap, I'm really sorry, but you are going to have to go and capture. There we go. Um, didn't know stripping her naked or him naked was part of the job, but... Wait, what are you doing? Speaking... No, 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 no. You're supposed to imprison him. Yep, yeah, do that. Stick him in his cell. What are you doing now? Okay, relax. Yep. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. We do have our first minion now. He or she. Let's quickly take a look at this. Okay, female. So, she is a little low on health and disobedient to the Paradise Warriors. But that's okay. We are gonna feed him, her, sorry. We are gonna feed her. Give her some gifts, perhaps, as well. Have a casual chat every day. 
and hopefully at some point he sorry she will want to start you know volunteering for us let's put it that way yeah so we'll skip the night we'll be back as soon as it's morning to see and test out how easy it is to get her on our side okay let's take a look at what is baby dragon doing right now he is speaking to her okay interesting now <laughs> i think we do have to intimidate her and cap seems to be the best person but he's on a bit of a meal break now so yeah let's give it another hour well before you go i know you've left already but maybe you can go and intimidate her real quick and let's see hmm different okay i think it's gone up a little bit Maybe thanks to Baby Dragon. Can we uh, feed? Are you hungry? Hmm. If we would be able to quickly. And let's see. Vitals needs. Okay, you are pretty hungry. So why don't we feed you real quick? Uh, who is this? Hasty has come to our kingdom now. And also Klim. We might actually do a bit of training with them if we, if we need something. Alright, here comes some food. Does that change anything? Mm, no. Okay, so we might have to talk to her. And yeah, just uh, see if we can uh, make her like us that way a little bit quicker. Right, these trees definitely need to go. Keep harvesting them, but I think one of those rooms is almost done. Okay, yep. Just putting up the roof real quick. And the bedrooms. Yeah, we just need the doors and beds as well, and then we can move in. Now, to make this a uh, slightly better apartment, we are going to need... Okay, so it's a bedroom now, 16 tiles and has a bed. But if we want to turn it into an apartment, we also need a table and some chairs. Okay, so pretty simple. We'll grab one of those small tables. And there's a light source already here. So why don't we... Yeah, let's... Uh, one second, let's do another one here, so it's uh, pretty much the same. And one of those chairs, yeah, I guess uh, this should be fine, right? Okay, now they also will have a need for storage, so we can place it in the corner right away. Okay, everyone seems to be learning the doors right now, so we'll leave them to it. And Michael, you can level up, right? Yeah, there we go. Level 6 now, we've got ranged cooking, building and ranching. Okay, our food numbers are going a little low. Can we construct any bows? Okay, let's take a quick look. And weapons, short bow. Okay, perfect. We want to maintain, let's make sure everyone has at least one. And then that should be fine. Michael, are you now... Yep, he is now learning the short bow, so uh, okay, we'll leave them to it, let them learn, build, and we'll be back once we've got those tasks completed. Okay, so I have been uh, talking to Elfrida for a little while, and it seems uh, she is now obedient to our Paradise Warriors. Maybe just a couple more. Okay, there we go, here's a positive outcome, and she definitely likes us now. Which means we should be able to offer them serfdom. Alright. Of course, we'd like you to uh, volunteer for us. Blah, blah, blah. If you'd... Um... Okay. There we go. She... End the conversation. And now we should be able to allocate tasks for her. So let's do nursing. And maybe some of the more tedious things first. Such as... Oh, you don't like hauling. Well, that's too bad. We'll start with cleaning then, perhaps. Uh, what else could you do? You could do... Hmm, I don't really want you to be crafting. Maybe foraging. Yep, farming. Help us out with that as well. And what else? Hunting. Should be okay, I suppose. Maybe logging. Okay, there you go. So that's definitely gonna help us quite a, quite a little, little bit. And let's see... What do we get? Uh, wood. Right, right, right. And anything new? Okay, so we learned quite a few things whilst we were talking to her. Right, the beds are built. We also have the tables. I think we are now... 
could to give this to Master Baby Dragon. And this one could go to Cap. I think you are. Yeah, you're a pretty good builder as well. So we shall do that. And I'm sorry, Baby Dragon, but this is going to go for Elfrida now. Okay, I think he should be fine with that. And she does now have room. Do we have enough logs though? Oh yeah, 747. Don't think we're gonna run out anytime soon. Right, so Cap, what are you up to? Level 8 already. Melee, building, foraging, farming and hauling. Okay. Very lovely indeed. And what are you guys all learning? Okay, chairs and hopefully the shelves soon as well. Right, so that's pretty a pretty good start. We already have our first volunteer. We have also accomplished crafting quite a few things, which we uh, soon will be... Actually, why don't we do it now? If we look through this list real quick, uh, is there anything that Baby Dragon could benefit from? Shoes, and now he already has everything. Stone Axe, actually, yeah, let's give you a better one. We'll take this one back. And these boots are better, but he doesn't really fancy them that much, to be honest. Well, that's okay. His prestige is higher than his ambition. Now, that's all good. Same with Cap over here. Michael, okay. Maybe... Oh, you do have a skirt already. What about some boots? Yeah, these look nicer. Why don't you take them ones? What else can we give you? Well, we don't really have a lot of things just yet. Uh, right. Well... Yeah, Alfreda, what about you? Okay, we could give you a hammer, perhaps. Yeah, I hope I'm not going to regret that later. As soon as Michael levels up a few more times in the crafting section of things, we'll try and start crafting some better, better weapons and clothes for them. But right now, things seem to be going pretty well. So we've accomplished this uh, goal for the episode here. And same with, you know, planning a few things out as well. I think, uh, you know, even though it doesn't look like much, but this is the foundation in uh, where our paradise is going to be located. Now, mm, I don't quite like the floating island that we are going to have here. I am pretty, pretty gutted that we cannot build anything in the, in the lake here. Yeah... That's very unfortunate. But you know what? It's fine. Let's keep building. Let's see what happens. It might be just a very sturdy wood that we are working with. So yeah, things should be fine. Okay, as the night is approaching, I think it's time to say goodnight to our colonists as well. Uh, everything's been going pretty well. And I think in the next episode, what we shall do, we do need to look at our food production and plan out a bit of a kitchen here but also a storing area for all the food okay so yeah that's gonna be it for this episode thank you so much for joining hope you liked it and i look forward to seeing you again in the next episode <laughs>